What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, after a brilliant performance from Miguel Cotto, it's got the boxing world talking. Obviously, Cotto has the reputation that speaks for itself. The face, the name speaks for itself. We know what Cotto is capable of when he's at his best. We know who he's been in there with. We know who he's had trouble with. And all in all, Cotto comes to fight, which is obviously respectable in the sport of boxing. Boxing loves an underdog story. And his career was seemingly on the decline. Some people were saying he was shop-worn and it was over for him and all that. And he proved that he can still beat people. Now, the whole question is, who are those people? Those people that he can beat. The good names. Everyone knows styles make fight. So, I made this follow-up video, What's Next, Miguel Cotto, and let you know my thoughts on this whole Cotto situation. Now, again, after a great performance by Miguel Cotto, it's, again, got the boxing world talking. My only thing with that is this. Taking nothing away from Miguel Cotto as a fighter or his performance. He did it against a guy who had six or seven losses, who is more of a journeyman than an elite level world beater. That's my problem. Now, I think Cotto needed this so he could realize that he still is a factor. He still can go to the body. He's not so far gone or so far past his prime where he can't make a decent fight. Um, it got ugly for other fighters like Shane Mosley, who hadn't won in four years. But again, Shane Mosley even was taking on tough tests. Floyd Mayweather, Sergio Mora, who's awkward, uh, Manny Pacquiao, and then an undefeated Canelo at the time. So you got to give props for these fighters because it's one thing to lose, but they didn't really lose to people that they were supposed to beat. Miguel Cotto lost to Manny Pacquiao, who was running through opponents. So it's not like he was. it was guaranteed. If you look at the spread at the betting odds, it's not like he was guaranteed to beat Pacquiao. Pacquiao might have been the favorite. I don't know, and I'm not doing the research to, to look it up. Um, the only person I guess Cotto was probably favored to beat that loss that he lost to out of all of his losses were Antonio Margarito and Austin Trout. But if you look at it on paper, those weren't guaranteed wins and those are solid opponents as well. And I put both of those fighters above a Delvin Rodriguez. I think Antonio Margarito's resume, he's been in there with Sergio Martinez. Granted, it was a young Sergio Martinez, but he got him out of there. Antonio Margarito also fought Paul Williams win in Paul Williams, his prime before he got knocked out by Sergio and all that. So he had a lot of experience. He brought a lot of experience um, into the fight. So um, I think those people are all leagues. Everybody I just mentioned in this video so far are leagues above Delvin Rodriguez. And I'm not saying he's a bum or he's a cab driver, but one, he fought kind of scared and I don't think he really showed up. He didn't give Cotto anything to respect. So Cotto being a veteran, a seasoned person with power and a new trainer and motivation, he did what the fuck he had to do. Cool. We're okay with that. But styles make fights. So some of you guys are going off the deep end. Um, I need personally need to see more. Like I said, boxing loves an underdog story. A Josecito beating a much bigger, faster fighter in Victor Ortiz. We love to see these... Um, trials and tribulations and the underdog Rocky stories. And I'm okay with that. And like I said, Miguel Cotto, he's a humble dude. Hopefully I get to meet him in this lifetime. Um, I really appreciate what he's brought to the table. He put the spotlight on Puerto Rico and boxing in general. He's done a lot for the sport. But again, styles make fights and you have to put things in perspective. I honestly don't agree with... <laughs> I honestly don't agree with a lot of you um, because sometimes when you bring up examples... You don't give fluid examples. You give examples that are apples and oranges, nothing alike, and that kind of stuff. And again, Styles make fight. Delvin Rodriguez is an opponent who most people thought Cotto would beat. The only way most people thought Cotto wouldn't win is if he was just so far gone or he was just um, that past his, his prime or something where Delvin Rodriguez would beat him. Um and that's it. Like, other than that, I don't really know anybody that said Delvin Rodriguez was going to convincingly just kill Cotto. 
You know what I mean? And like I said, the people that did say that were using it under the pretenses that Coda was washed up and he was done. So if you apply everything that I'm saying into the current or these hypotheticals, some people, even Roy Jones Jr. said it'd be intriguing. I'm not saying he would beat Floyd Mayweather, but it'd be interesting to see this Miguel Cotto in the ring with Floyd Mayweather. And ultimately, I don't really agree with that statement. I think, I mean, he's the same fighter. It was actually after he avenged his first loss to Antonio Margarito. So if anything, confidence-wise, his confidence should have been skyrocketed. His first ever loss against Antonio Margarito was avenged and then immediately after he fought um floyd mayweather so what who really received the best kodo was it delvin rodriguez or was it me uh, floyd mayweather and like i said i don't see how you you beat the guy you suspected of cheating that was possibly using loaded gloves and you avenge that loss and convincingly you convincingly avenge that loss and then immediately after you go in with a, a Mayweather payday and you say you say that's a like that's a washed up Cotto that Mayweather fought but fast forward a couple fights later after a loss to Floyd after a loss to Austin Trout <laughs> you guys are like oh this version of Cotto would have killed Mayweather so is it like is it really is this a different version of Cotto or did he fight an opponent who was put in front of him, who was more or less a tune-up confidence builder fight, and he exceeded your expectations. Like I said, if he got in the ring with Floyd Mayweather tomorrow, I don't see him necessarily beating a Floyd Mayweather. And again, if you beat a Floyd Mayweather, one, you have to be conditioned crazy. We didn't even get to see Cotto pass the third round in this fight, and he exerted a lot of energy throwing those body punches, and he's an older fighter. It's not the young Kodo, no matter if it looked like vintage Kodo, it's still not him. He's, his body is, is naturally aged, and he's been through wars, and et cetera, et cetera. So I think a lot of you guys are putting too much on it, saying, oh, Mayweather should have fought this version of him. Kodo's Kodo. No one told him not to train or not to get with Freddie Roach earlier or to not go to the body like he did against Delvin Rodriguez. He's his own man. So at the end of the day, um, anything he did against Delvin Rodriguez, he could have enacted for his game plan against Floyd Mayweather. So I think you guys are doing too much with that. I also think you're doing too much just in the grand scheme of things. Cotto beat a guy most of us thought he would beat anyway. So I don't, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not taking, I'm not shitting on Cotto because I like Cotto as, a lot, but I honestly don't see him demolishing Sergio Martinez or Canelo in that same fashion, if he were to beat those guys, I think it'll be a tough fight. And I don't think it'd be by the third round unless it was just some crazy punch that connected um, that they just couldn't recover from. I think Cotto is naturally smaller than those guys. Um, Sergio Martinez is a southpaw. He's very crafty. He's not, he's a moving target. He's not going to, everything I've seen from Sergio Martinez he doesn't really fight scared. Even when he was severely hurt against Chavez Jr., who was probably like 190, 195 on fight night um, in the 12th round. So after he exerted all the energy in the first 11 rounds, in the 12th round, he still fought Machismo. He was hurt, and he was still not trying to hold and clinch like Klitschko was doing all night, and he was still trying to fight. So I don't think Martinez would go in there scared. Plus, he's been to the big dance before. He's been there with Paul Williams twice. When Paul Williams was a real threat. Um, he's been in there with Kermit Cintron when Cintron was a real threat. He's been in there with a lot of great fighters. The Kelly Pavlik when Kelly Pavlik was still a factor. And him going in against Cotto. I don't think he's going to fight scared like Delvin Rodriguez did. Delvin Rodriguez from pretty much the opening bell. He's seen how Cotto came about. And he seemed like, like he was starstruck or some shit. Um, he didn't expect it from Cotto. He didn't expect Cotto to be that aggressive. And then Cotto came out like a raging bull and just looked like he was shook from the beginning. Delvin Rodriguez had no answer to that. So he got destroyed. And that's perfect for Cotto. Again, great for his psyche, great for his family to see him do good, great for him and his fans and everybody that supports him. I'm okay with that. But again, I don't think that transitions 
well with the other fighters that people are mentioning Cotto fighting. I just don't. I don't think he's going to run through Sergio Canelo or Mayweather. I think he did that specifically to Delvin Rodriguez based on how Rodriguez was fighting. And that's okay, and I'm okay with that. But some of you guys are going to the deep end. Mayweather should have fought this version of Cotto. Hey, Cotto could have been whatever fighter he wanted to be on May 5th when he fought Mayweather. And he was the fighter that he chose to be that night. And he didn't go to the body as much as he did in Delvin Rodriguez fight or whatever you want to say. But at the same time, Cotto's Cotto. He's a legend in the sport, living legend. So again, like I said, Cotto, he's his own man. He could have been whoever he wanted to be. He could have used whatever game plan he wanted against Mayweather. Um, but ultimately, I think Mayweather's skill set is what sets him apart from looking like Delvin Rodriguez. He's not going to let you bully him and just go to his body and, and bludgeon him to death like Delvin Rodriguez did. Like I said, I don't even know how many punches Delvin Rodriguez. If anyone knows the actual CompuBox numbers, leave a comment and let me know. But I don't even really remember him throwing many punches. It looked like he was just shook from the, like I said, from the, from the get-go. And I don't think any of them other dudes that is, Cotto's being linked to fighting, those big money fights, Sergio, Canelo, Floyd, I don't think any of them are just going to allow him to do that without them counterpunching him without them imposing their size or whatever um, each of those fighters bring to the table. I just really don't see it. So, again, I stick steadfast to what I said yesterday. I see Cotto, um, like I said, if he likes the partnership with Freddie Roach, his confidence is at an all-time high, that's great. But let it be that. Don't make it out to be something different. You have to realize in the sport of boxing, styles make fights. Delvin Rodriguez's game plan sucked. He didn't really do anything to prohibit anything Cotto was doing. Therefore, he got annihilated. But again, I really honestly don't see Cotto running through Canelo or Sergio Martinez like that or, or whoever, um, the top dogs in that division. I, I really don't see him. Match him with Edis Lundy, Laura, or whoever. I don't see him just annihilating him where they have no answer. They don't land one good punch, anything like that. I think, again, he's a slower fighter. And... Ultimately, some people, like I said, I, I know some of you fans think with emotion. This video is from the heart. This is, I'm not using emotion. Like I said, I'm a huge Cotto fan. I'm a huge Roy Jones Jr. fan too, but I'm also man enough to say he should hang him up, stick to commentary and work in other fighters' corners and giving them the game and gyms and, and going on Jim Lampley's fight night or fight game or whatever it's just called. I humbly respect this sport you know what i mean so i'm not going to give you a skewed per perception of this is my real opinion and like i said as far as miguel Cotto, he looked great he looked spectacular but i also think you have to factor in who his opponent was he had an opponent in front of him that allowed for that and especially with that opponent's game plan it allowed from that i honestly don't see canelo as competitive if you watch the canelo mayweather fight he was getting schooled he was outclassed he looked frustrated but at the end of the day, I cannot recall a time, frustrated or not, where Canelo looked like, you know what, I'm not competitive anymore. I'm just going to let him tag. I don't think he was letting Mayweather tag him at will. He seemed competitive and like he was genuinely hurt by the first loss on his career. He, he seems like a very competitive person. So I really don't see him um, getting there with Cotto and letting Cotto just bulldog him and and not do anything back i think canelo is a fighter who grew up tough grew up being bullied for having red hair and that kind of stuff he has the mexican blood so if you hit him he does want to hit you back and that's a good thing because at the end of the day canelo uses intelligence as well he doesn't just let his hands go and um use absolutely no defense in fact his defense looks like it's improving so Again, for Miguel Cotto, I wish the best for him in the future. I just don't see him doing what some of you guys are thinking he's going to do and making it as easy against the Sergios and the Canelos and the Mayweathers and stuff. Um, I just really don't. Another thing that I honestly think is going to probably be a factor, Cotto's age, his um, conditioning. That's going to be the biggest important uh, factor is how well he's conditioned like i said in this fight we didn't get to see that we didn't get to see Cotto in the ninth round tenth round is he breathing really hard because he 
again, used a lot of energy doing what he did in those little rounds. Like, he came out like a madman, and that's props. And, and if that's what gets him motivated to train hard and gets his fans back on his side, cool. It's all good. But on my channel, I'll keep it real, and that's, that's what I really think. He looked really sharp, but I also think you have to attribute who his opponent was. And then when you mix him up with a top contender at 154, if he chooses to keep fighting at 154, I don't see them allowing him to wreck them like Delvin Rodriguez. So that's my that's my opinion. As far as Canelo and Cotto, Sergio and Cotto, a Mayweather rematch, I think the Mayweather would be the last of the rematches to happen just because um, Cotto hasn't really done enough to get it. And you can say whatever you want, but Robert Guerrero was a mandatory and he had two wins at welterweight the division that mayweather holds a title in so that's why he got his opportunity and it was a fresh face so that was one thing canelo was undefeated and he unified with austin trout and had an impressive performance against austin trout like i said beating a guy like delvin rodriguez doesn't really propel you into a rematch with the biggest name in the sport of boxing, the cash cow in the sport of boxing. Um, Victor Ortiz beat Berto, who was undefeated at the time, despite whatever happened to Berto after the fact. At the time, Berto was undefeated. That propelled him into the Mayweather fight. Ricky Hatton looked great against Jose Luis Castillo, knocked him out, and got the Mayweather fight. So if you look at the pattern, Shane Mosley, he crushed Antonio Margarito, got the Mayweather fight. I don't think by crushing Delvin Rodriguez, the fans or or Team Mayweather or or Cotto or whatever are clamoring for a rematch with Floyd. Some of you want to see it just because you're like, oh, you think he's going to do all this to Floyd, what he did to Delvin Rodriguez. But like I said, everything about Delvin Rodriguez, from the mental down to the game plan, I guarantee you it's not going to be the same that Floyd has. So. You can say whatever you want. Let me know what you guys think. What's next for Kodo? As always, hate, comment, or subscribe. Till next video, it's Ego signing off.